Hello friends, in today's session we are going to see Christian's algorithm. This algorithm comes under physical clock synchronization. In this session we are going to discuss two points. First one will be the basics of Christian's algorithm and second one will be the example of Christian's algorithm. We know that in distributed environment there are different different nodes. All these nodes work together and they have one common thing in them so that is called as clock so all nodes in the distributor systems functions or works with respect to their clock timings for working in the distributed environment these nodes need to have common time on them so common time in the sense the time of the nodes should be either same or it might be very much closely aligned to one another so that will help them to execute the task which are having proper time stamping on them so the events will be ordered and the events will be executed as per the given order or as per the time stamps given to them common time can be taken from reference clock so let's see one diagram with that diagram we will have little more explanation on that so this is the reference clock these are the clients so right now the clients are showing timings like 9 hours 33 minutes 47 seconds here 9 hours 35 minutes and 32 seconds here 9 hours 34 minutes and 43 seconds the time that has been shown by c1 client 1 client 2 and client 3 are different they are not exactly same now if this is the situation then if we execute the events which are time stamped so there will be a problem in the execution of those events as the timing physical timing at c1 c2 and c3 are different they are not having the same physical time or they are not having very closely associated physical time now for that we need to do some trick and we need so that the c1 c2 and c3 will show almost same time which is there as that of the reference clock so for that c1 will do a request so one is called as request for time so c1 will do request similarly c2 will do request and c3 will do request to the reference clock for getting the same time now after doing the request reference clock will give reply to c1 reference clock will give reply to c3 as well as c2 and it will send the reference time or it will send the common time to these three machines so we can say that here reference clock will reduce the clock skew so that almost all the devices which are working in the distributed environment will be having not exactly the same time but closely aligned closely associated time there will not be too much difference between their times now we can say that Christian's algorithm is used for clock synchronization this is what the main motive of Christian's algorithm clock synchronization let's see the working of Christian's algorithm so client is shown here this client is going to do request for getting the time request for time to the server so this is what server or more specifically we will say this is a time server so client will give request to the time server and time server will give response to the request with its current time this is going to be a generalized scenario but exactly in this case this is not so simple while getting the reply back to the client some sort of delay network delay will play a crucial role so here 
the factor need to be taken into consideration is going to be network's delay or network latency we can say if delay is more then there will be a problem with the time synchronization if delay is less almost same time of server will be given to the client that is what the logic behind it now following parameters are needed for calculating the synchronized time so now we know that when client wants to get synchronized with the reference clock then client will going to give time request to the time server and then time server is going to reply back to the client with re and that reply will contain the current time of the time server now here we will see few parameters which are needed for calculating the synchronized time there are three types of uh, parameters we can say so we will enlist those parameters first client's time will be there while sending the request to the server we will call this time as a t0 server's time while sending the response to the client we will call it as ts and client's time while receiving the server's reply we will call it as t1 here we can say that round trip delay is going to be the time when client gets reply minus the time when client sends request so this is going to be t1 minus t0 in this diagram if we put the times so we can say that when client sends request the time on the client is going to be t0 when server will send response that time the time of the server will be ts and when the client will get reply back from the server the time will consider as t1 so these are the three major things on which we are going to focus in the christian's clock algorithm so round trip time will be taken as t1 minus t0 on the basis of these three times the synchronized time at the client side can be calculated as t synchronized is equal to time of the server plus the round trip time by 2 now let us solve one example based on the christian's algorithm and calculate the synchronized time so synchronized time is the time which client receives from the time server now we will have one scenario the client will do request to the server at time 10 hours 25 minutes and 10 seconds we can say at that time ts we will say that that time is 10 hours 25 minutes and 20 seconds now the server will give response to the client again and the client will get that response at 10 hours 25 minutes and let us say 30 seconds now we have value of t0 where client has done request to the server and we have value of t1 when server or the server's reply is received by the client now we know that the formula for calculating the synchronized time at the client side is t synchronized is equal to ts plus t1 minus t0 by 2 so this is what the formula let us put values inside the formula the value of ts here is 10 hours 25 minutes and 20 seconds so this value we have taken from here now we need to find out the difference between t1 and t0 so the value of t1 time is 10 hours 25 minutes and 30 seconds we need to subtract t0 from t1 so t0's value is 10 hours 25 minutes and 10 seconds so so these values will become 0 in the subtraction and this value is going to be 20 seconds but as per the formula we need to divide t1 minus t0 by 2 so let us divide it by 
so it will be we can say that 0 hours 0 minutes and 10 seconds so let us put that value in our equation so 0 hours 0 minutes and 10 seconds so the total value is going to be 10 hours 25 minutes and 30 seconds so this will be a synchronized time now let us go to the concluding remark this algorithm performs better when the network has low network delays or we can say that low latency so that's it from this particular algorithm so please stay tuned with my channel you will get more and more good videos on the technology thank you